So for this final walkthrough, we're going to try something a little bit different. And instead of providing a video, what I'm going to do is only record audio and try to describe what I'm doing. This way you can follow along. If you get stuck, pause the video, back up a little bit, but the following steps should get you through the final task of this lab. This is our chance to sort of do an end-to-end -end project where we create a project from scratch, have it do something simple, commit it to our subversion repository, and that'll be it. So let's get started. I'm going to fire up Eclipse. At this point, you should have Eclipse installed with all of the plugins that you need, including subversion support. When I start Eclipse and ask me which workspace I want to use, I'm going to use the one um, that I'm using for this class. Uh, I can set that as the default so it's not asking me every time it starts. Okay, so now Eclipse has started up. Um, I'm going to make sure that I'm looking at the right perspective. So I'm going to open my Java perspective here. And right now I'm in the Package Explorer uh, view and I have there's no projects open. So what I need to do is create a new project. So I go up to File, New, Java Project. It asks you for a name, and you can really call this anything you want. Maybe we'll pick Hello. That's kind of a nice uh, name for this particular project. Um, the defaults here are fine. Um, you don't really need to do anything else other than click Finish. And now I've created uh, my project. So if I click on the little spinner next to the Hello Project in my Package Explorer, I can see what's inside of it. It's including the uh, JRE system library, which is something that all the Java products will use. And then there's an empty source folder, so there are no files in this project yet. To add a file to the project, um, I can do that in several ways. I could hit File, New, and then pick a, a class to create a new file that implements a Java class, or I can also double click on source, I think, and click new there. Not double click, sorry, uh, right click on my source folder. Um, I'm going to create a new class that's a file that's going to contain one of the classes that's part of my project. Uh, I'm going to also call that hello. Now, in this case, uh, most of the defaults are fine, um, except if I look down toward the bottom, I am going to create a stub for public static void main. What this does is it makes this class runnable so that when I execute it, the code that's contained in static void main will run. And that's where I'm going to put uh, the code I'm about to write that's going to print hello world. All right, so now I'm going to hit finish. And now the uh, Eclipse has created hello.java for me, and I'm looking at it. And there's a comment that says to do auto-generated method stub. That's the main method of my hello.java class. That's where I'm going to put the code I'm about to write. So I'm going to replace that to do comment with a single line of code that says system.out.print ln or print line. This is a command that prints a line of text uh, to the console. I'm going to print hello comma world. Point. Very traditional first example. All right, once I'm done with that, I'm going to hit, hit save. If I look over at the left, um, Eclipse is good at telling me if there are problems with my code. So, for example, I could take off the last semicolon there after uh, system.out.println hello world, and now what I see is that there's a red X here uh, informing me that there's a syntax error, so I'll put the semicolon back. All right, so now I'm ready to go. I've got a new Java class that's runnable, and so what I can do is I can go up and I can click on the play button. Now there's a bunch of play buttons. You want to click on the play button that doesn't have like a little other icon next to it. It's the leftmost play button. It's next to the button that looks like a bug. That's the button to fire up the debugger. So if I mouse over that, it says run hello Java, and that's exactly what I want to do. When I run hello Java, what I, do, what I see down at the bottom in, in my console view is that it printed hello world. And I can edit that. I can say hello Illinois. 
um, run it again, and now it says hello Illinois. So now I have some code that works, pretty proud of it. Want to save it to my subversion repository. So I've started up a copy of Eclipse that already has the CS125 repository configured. But what I do need to do is I need to add this project to it. So I go over to the Package Explorer pane and um, right click on the project, hello, go over to Team and hit Share Project. That brings up the dialog where I get to select the SVN repository type as opposed to Git. Click Next. I choose the existing repository location that I've configured uh, in previous steps. So I have my Illinois Subversion repository ready to go. Click, ne click Next. Um, simple mode puts the uh, repository in a subfolder that's named based on the package that I'm working on, which is or the project that I'm working on, which is exactly what I want. Um, and then hit Finish. Okay, and I can see over at the bottom, it's working on sharing the project. Um, and then it opens up a window for me to enter a commit message. I'll put my first commit as part of the Hello project. Remember, it's always important to write good commit messages. I can, this dialog shows me at the bottom the list of files that I'm in the process of committing. Now I can click OK. And then again, at the bottom right corner, I can see that the commit is taking place. <coughs> Excuse me. And now it's done. So now I'm in good shape. To confirm that it worked, let's open up the subversion perspective. So click on Window, then go down to Perspective, Open Perspective, Other. Click on that, and brings up a new menu. I see step SVM Repository Exploring. I want to open that perspective. So here on the left, I can see my subversion repository. I want to open it, and uh, you know, if I want to, I can refresh it just to make sure I have the latest uh, information. And I see here um, that my Hello Project is there, and I can browse into the source folder and open up, if I want to, hello.java, which shows me the copy of that file that's in my repository on the remote server. So I'm all done. Um, this is the objective of Lab Zero. If you've made it this far, congratulations. You are ready to rock. Um, good luck on the rest of the assignments and the rest of the labs.